Hello and welcome back. Day six in the Insurgent series. I have not slept yet. What I'm doing is um, I'm running around looking through the middle here. We're looking for some supplies like uh, cleaning solvent, shotgun shells, etc. Because we're kind of out. And I'll need, uh, I'll need some of this stuff if we're going to uh, proceed into the next area here. Uh, but basically I'm going to pick up some shells and... Uh, Clean my weapons. I may clean the three, uh, three, three, six, five. I forget what that rev little revolver. The forty-five. I will clean it. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I'll clean it either way. Um, and then we're going to head back. and We're going to push into that new territory that we have there. See what's going on in there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll cut back in when I'm when I'm done messing around in here. Okay, so I cleaned the revolver. Uh, then disassembled the shotgun, and I ran out of, uh, solvent. So, gonna go all the way back out there to get some solvent, and then head all the way back in here again. Okay, day seven, here we go. I did get the solvent, everything's repaired, and I've looted a whole boatload of shotgun shells. I got extra ones in my uh, inventory as well. I'll try to fit some of them in here. Uh, I woke up weirdly at like midnight and then I woke up at like 3 a.m. It was really weird. I had to take sleeping pills twice. Really bizarre. Uh, no, there's no sink in here in the kitchen. That's that's a really strange thing. They also, that kind of reminds me of uh, The Sims. If you if you don't got a freaking sink, man, they'll just run over to your freaking bathroom and clean all, clean all, wash all the dishes in the bathroom <laughs> instead of uh, dealing with the kitchen there. All right, I'm going to head back to that area we were in. I meant to point this out the last time I was here, but check this out. Check this out. On these barrels here, there's a few little little designs, right? It almost looks like there's like C4 on them or something, right? Isn't that, isn't that weird? This one, there's, there's this one down here on top of the barrel. I can't tell what it is, but it looks like something, you know? But this one up here is definitely like a timer. I can't pick it up. Uh, game doesn't recognize this. This is just painted in. But look at this one. This one's definitely like a little timer, huh? I love the little details that are put into this map. Absolutely love it. Alright. We are pushing into this next room up here. I have to kill a few of the shot. A few, few of the zombies on the way. Out of the way. Out of my... Come on, zombies. Uh, so in the south part of the room, there is the warehouse section. Uh, there's also an upper story that I've not been able to locate yet. There's a lot of zombies sort of fallen uh, over. trying to. They're trying to do a airborne dive onto uh, Barry's head there and take it off. But none of them have been successful as of yet, thankfully. There's also a road on the north side of the room. And the uh, west side of the room, there is a um, map west and north. Not, ooh, nice. Map west and north, not because uh, the game is sort of tilted. Uh, but north is the way we are currently walking. Uh, but in the game, it doesn't look like we're going north. Uh, but uh, to our left, to our left here, there's like a whole, like it almost looks like a library or something. I'm not sure what's in there, really. And our shotgun broke already. Bad roll of the dice. I'm thinking about just sort of coming in here and uh, just just going in. We'll see maybe if we can see where the dang stairwell is. Shotgun broke again. Wow, that's some bad rolls. Wow, again. That's three in a row. Holy hell. I might have to repair this stupid thing immediately. I, I just don't see a staircase anywhere. Maybe I will uh, s zip on up here and scope it out a little bit. See if we can see anything. These little checkpoints in here with the little uh, gun lockers. I've not found anything in any of them at any of the checkpoints through here yet. They've all been empty. Sort of makes sense. Uh, if the checkpoint gets overwhelmed, they're going to take the guns out of the gun lock. Oh, there's signs up. Check them out, check them out. Nothing. Nothing in there. Woo! Try 
Right on my day. Hope they take damage from these falls. Just it's just raining zombies, man. Raining zombies. zombies trying to jump on my head I don't know what's upstairs I'm curious what's upstairs because there are an awful lot of zombies that have come downstairs by downstairs I mean leaping off the banister but just an awful lot of zombies I'm gonna call it now we're gonna find find the staircase we're gonna head up there it's just gonna be like an office or like a closet there's gonna be nothing up there so if that one room, there's a gate up there. That one room we walked into with the next to the cafeteria, we walked up, all them dang zombies come out, and there was just, just an office in there, right? That was all there was. Went in here, look around a little bit. Uh, a little bit harder to kite in this room because the boxes, uh, this middle box row, is actually, there's no gap. Oh, the gun broke in. We're down to 60% already. Holy crap. I might need to try to find a opening and try to clean the shotgun already. Ooh. Please don't do that. Oh, I just shot a bunch of zombies. I just saw a bunch of zombies I didn't even see. I wonder how he did that. If I can find an oh, oh, he just died falling off. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna sneak. Try to find an opening. I'll repair this shotgun with whatever solvent we got left. Um, I don't have any rip sheets. Okay, so I gotta head back out. Because I don't have a sheet. I need to... Okay. So, Alright. Friggin' heck. The tunnel will probably be safe. I mean, it'll be safe, but we gotta, we'll gotta. we have to head all the way over there. And this is all the ammo in the revolver. Right there. All gone. Uh, we need to rip up someone's underwear, get some ripped cloth, or strip, uh, ripped sheets. There we go, got three of them, we're good. Let's just sprint down the tunnel real quick here, uh, and we will try to clean our gun. Got a few friends in the tunnel, I'm gonna knife them. If our shoddy breaks, um, or rather the shotgun is, this is not good. If the shotty had gone below 50, uh, I wouldn't have been able to fix it. So, I mean, I'd have to go get another shotgun. Well, there's tons of shotguns. We could just pick up another shotgun, but this is much easier. So, reassemble. That's the last of our firearm. Okay, so we are now out of cleaning solvent and firearm lube. So, I'll reattach everything head back in there. I'll try to use a knife a little bit, I think. It, unless there's like a great big group, maybe I'll try to use the knife a little bit more. Get a few kills that way. Save our save on durability, save on ammo. Because there's a lot of zombies in here. A little bit more than usual, it seems. I think it's because it's two-story and we're pulling like from up above as well. He is CQC trained, so all's well. That's weird, I don't have the key. Ooh, she's wearing a gas mask. Speaking of gas mask, ours is at about for Ooh, maintenance skill, very nice. Haven't been using any melee weapons, so we have no, like, skills in that way. That is 
another mechanic shop. Check it out. There's a pump, fuel pump, and a hydraulic lift. Let's start killing some zombies here. Then, nice. Unless we get overwhelmed. My knife, my uh, short blade skill is, I want to say, three or four. We do have ten strength on bear. Uh, all the operators have had ten strength. Maybe we're fine. CQC training started us at level four. Short blunt, long blunt, short blade, and long blade, I believe. All right, let's oh check that out. I'm curious about that. There is a door up there, barricaded door. It's blocked off. I might just head on up in here. We'll just zip in here real quick. All right, pull the shotguns. We got guys from the left and the right coming. Oh, that's a gate. Look at that. I didn't even know that was a gate. I could see through it. Oh, it's like a custom like bar gate. Check it out. That's cool. Uh, we're gonna wait for them to break that door down because it's gonna be any second now. I'm not going in there. Mow them down. Nothing good. No recipe. There's a science zombie in there, but no recipe, sadly. There's that blocked door up there. These guys. I'll wait for them to break this door down. It sounds uh, like it's full health. Okay, maybe they can't break it down. It still sounds full health. There's another group of zombies there. Kill them. That thing still sounds full health. Maybe I'll just shoot him. Maybe they can't break it. Oh, oh no, they can. Oh, maybe the maybe is it a custom door and it doesn't have the uh, breaking sound? That must be it. Uh, no recipe again. Wait on these doors to break. I don't want to go in there. This looks like a library. There's a tilted bookcase in there. That's really cool. Come. Reload as we go through here. I hear someone, but I don't see him. Easy. Easy shooting in here. A few behind us. I don't want to get pinned. These zombies are very, uh, very big fans of the pincer maneuver. Push forward. It's like a little mail room almost. I love the uh, tipped over furniture. Love it. Oh, look at check out the uh, old computer. That's like a different different style computer. That's cool. Very cool. Very cool little touches. I don't know if that's in the base game. If it is, I don't recall seeing it. Either way, it is definitely cool. Some fresh water. more tipped over furniture. Steps. Sorry. One shot. We do have 10 strength. We don't have uh, blades very high, but we do have 10 strength, so. I wonder if the staircase is in that burned up room. A lot of zombies coming out of there, so maybe. Pull out my knife. No. I thought, for some reason, I heard doors breaking, so I thought 
There's gonna be far more than this one. Right? Ooh, one shot. Easy. Easy shooting. Hmm, interesting, there's a little uh, shirt there without an icon. A lot of flopping. Love the bookcase that's blocking the door. That's cool. Very cool design. Oh shit, yes no is up there in the uh, burning room. I have to kill another yes no. That keeps following me around. I found a lot of clowns. Goodbye, yes no. I do regret it. Oh, they're falling. Oh, there's something above us. So there's a, a like balconies up above us as well. A lot of banging. A lot of glass breaking. A lot of banging. I'm just staying over here so that uh, they don't drop on my head. Oh, this is actually quite a few. Oh, wow! Look at them fall down. Uh, we're going to be... Our gas mask is running a little bit. Well, we gotta get this close to groups of zombies. It's just get a little bit dangerous. Uh, and boy, there are a lot of... Oh my goodness. There are a lot of zombies. That dropped off that balcony. Wherever that balcony is. I might try to... Get up in the corner away from the zombies and just I'm just gonna hard swap mass I'm not gonna replace the filter on the other one just so that we're at 100 because there's a lot of zombies kind of cruising through here science zombie in there I'll probably forget he's there Try to reload as they're coming in. Open some boxes here. I've only got 51 shots opened, ready to go, so. Throw all these back in our bags so we're not overweight and we can keep clearing. I'm a knifer. We don't have any reason to use a shotgun on some of these lesser ones. Plus, we are sort of. Oh, they're still dropping down. Still dropping from above. There's a lot of them. Oh, I'm still sneaking. I didn't realize I was still sneaking. Come on, you want some of Barry? Hunting knife can break. We don't care. About it. Find another one on a zombie. There's tons of them stuck into zombie legs and stuff. No problem. I probably walked by at least a dozen or more. What's up here? Nothing. Okay. Move back up just a little bit here. Shot. Nice. Nice. Those one shots really pay off. Yeah, we are just about level five short blade. Just about. Whoa! 
Okay. Um, I'm super bored. I guess the CQC doesn't do it. Usually when he's firing his guns, the boredom drops a little bit. I'm not too worried about boredom. Easy killing. Easy killing. He's pretty good. Wow, there's a lot of zombies over there. My god, I wonder how many are up above us that they are just dropping like this. This is wild. There are so many friggin' zombies dropping from the ceiling. I don't think I have got the resources to handle this. I really want to push through and find the staircase. Because I could, st I could stop all that, just kill them up top, it'd be a lot easier, a lot safer than them dropping down on my head like this. Uh, and I think... I I have been in the warehouse, uh, so that leaves this room. Somewhere in here there's going to be a staircase. There is a uh, door on the other side of the room. Might be a Oh gosh. So many zombies dropping in. I think the carpet's a little stained, but, you know, given enough time, someone could come in here and restore this little library. There's bathrooms there. We've been in that room, so that only leaves this other room up here, so... Let's check this room out real quick. Same thing. Alright. I might try to push in here. I might... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna start aiming for that room. There's nothing over here. Nothing in the other room that's burned out, so I'm going to start pushing towards that room with a tilted bookcase. Shotgun's been holding up pretty good. Earlier it dropped so far. Yeah, see my boredom moves after immediately. He really enjoys firing the shotgun. Okay, we're about, about ready to push in. Ooh. Oh, I gotta reload. Oh. Oh, this is it. Nope, we're fine. It's fine. I got everything under control. Man, this is Barry. Barry, and none of these zombies gonna be able to do nothing to Barry. This is easy. This is a walk in the park for Barry. Terry may have died. Barry, no problem. Push back in there. So I think they were caught on this bookcase because it's blocking the door. I think that's all it was. All right, let's head in here real quick. I'm sprint so that I don't. Ooh. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. This is a lot of zombies in here. Oh, and they're dropping down from here too. So there's another freaking balcony up above. Hold down. Reload. Loaded the seventh. Boy, this is a lot of zombies. This here, a chunky group. Look at them all. I might, uh, might leave and come back.
Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need all y'all zombies to come out of here one at a time. It's like a toothpaste tube. Easy. Easy. Oop, there we go. Okay, it was easy until I had to reload. Now it's not... I mean, they're still... Still coming out in a nice line, right? Reload again. Ooh, they're still freaking dropping from the... Unbelievable. Unbelievable, they're still dropping. Man, I am... This is probably the hardest clearing I've done so far. Handling all these zombies dropping from the ceiling is just rough. And I do, the thing is, I don't know how many up there either. Reload. I could be near the end or I could not be near the end. I mean, I've fallen this whole freaking time. I feel like there's more up there than there are down here. By a significant amount. Reload. This uh, block, this chair is uh, line, ooh, blocks line of sight. That's okay. It's still cool. I'll take the block line of sight to have it. I love the, uh, I love the knocked over furniture. It's amazing. Let's uh, see if we can get back in that room. We've killed most of the zombies. We'll see if there is, in fact, a staircase in there somewhere. I could just shot a zombie. Whoa, 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 whoa. It truly is raining zombies. Oh my god, there's so many falling down. Almost done, and we can push back into that room and see what's going on in there. See if we can find this stupid staircase. Now that we've killed all the zombies from up above. There are so many dead zombies in here. Alright, let's run it. Just, let's just run a sprint in here. Um, maybe be careful about this door still. Okay, it's clear. You never know. They might catch on that door. Uh, sprint in here. Uh, yeah. Mm, there's more in here than I thought. I wonder if they were dropping down from above. Because I feel like I pulled quite a few out. Push ourselves into the corner. Reload. Get ready to fight. Love the... There's a little vacuum in there. Dry vac. Shop vac. Whatever you want to call it. I don't think that's base game either. Love the TV's monitor. Right now. Still dropping from above. Getting real low on ammo. There was a survivor zombie in here. He had uh, some military gear. And a bulletproof vest, but the backpack was empty. There's a door. Uh, I don't know if I want to try it. There's so many zombies coming in. Ooh. Ooh. That chair caught me. We're getting low on supplies.
This is a lot of zombies. Um, we might actually be in trouble here because we are running out of ammo. And they are pouring in the city right? I'm actually a little nervous that the south wall is another room that we went into, and I pulled zombies from that room by firing the shotgun. We've dealt with that a few times. Anytime we fight near walls, it's the most of the rooms. Oh boy, oh boy. It might be time to run. Okay, uh, we have got, wow, like six shots left. Okay, time to run. Let's run out of here. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, I'm just going to sprint back to the main room. We need supplies, but the problem is, is that these supplies are all the way in the other, the other freaking side of this facility. And we've, we've been chewing up a lot of the shotgun shells there. We've basically had infinite ammo this whole time until now. There's a lot of zombies here. And so far as I can tell, none of these rooms have got... Oh, there's that locked room. I don't know what it is. Nothing in there. But there's no, um, there's no military gear in here. These checkpoints were empty. Uh, try to see down there. That's mechanic shop. Maybe I'll try to check in the warehouse again. Maybe I missed something. We'll just poke our head in real quick. No, no, no. There's military gear right there. Uh, it's a little too late, though, to do that, because we are already out. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to cut the video short. Uh, and I am going to go back and resupply, reclean, start a new day. And we're going to come back, and we're going to clean this room out properly. And now that I know that, that extra, those extra supplies there, uh, I think we can do it pretty easily. So hey, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next episode.